All right, so this is just going to be a quick video showing how to drag and drop files from one place to another. So let's say you have these random folders here and you want them to be in your pictures folder. So you could either um, drag to select them all like this. So you click and then just move the mouse. Another way is you can press control A. So if you press on your keyboard control A, it means select all. So it'll select everything in that folder. The other option is you can hold the control button down and as you click, you can add separate ones. So if you don't want all of them, let's say I just want that one, that one, and that one, then you can do that. Another option, if you want just a row, you can select one. And then if you hold the shift key and click the next one, it'll get everything from the top all the way down. So just like that. Okay. Or vice versa. If you click from the bottom, hold the shift key and then click one above it, it'll select all the ones uh, above. All right, so that's how you choose what you want to copy over. So let's say we want to copy all of this. I press control A, then you can click and then you can drag this wherever. So you can see if I'm dragging all of it, um, you can move it all around. You can throw it on the desktop. You can throw it on another folder here. If you want to put it in your documents folder or pictures folder, you have these here. If you want it to go to a folder that's not easily visible here, what you can do is you can just go into your computers. I just go to this PC. If you don't have the this PC icon, you'll have this little icon down here. You can right click that, okay? And then you can see File Explorer. You can click that. It will open another File Explorer window. And then you can just browse to where you want. So I can go to like this PC, C drive. We can go to the user folder, you can go to your user account, and let's say you just want it wherever, let's say the videos folder, okay? So you see there's no videos folder here on the side, so this is the only way we can do it here. So we don't need this one anymore, we'll close that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna transfer all these new folders into the videos folder. So again, highlight it however you want, then you just click all right, just click with your mouse or trackpad. And while you're holding that button down, you can move this. All right, make sure you keep holding the button because once you let go, it's gonna transfer over. If you did that on accident and you didn't want it to go there, um, you should be able to do Control Z, which is undo. And as you can see, it undid the transfer and it moved it back over here, okay? So sometimes if you accidentally move a folder, like uh, sometimes my finger will slip, I'll accidentally grab it on accident like that, like by double tapping, you can press Control Z, it will undo it. Um, I'm not sure if Control Y will work. Let's try if you do Control Y, it does. Okay, so Control Y is redo um, and Control Z is undo. So as you can see, I can Control Z to undo it and Control Y to redo it and control Z to undo it. All right, there's more features as well. If you just want a specific one, you can do control C, which is copy. And then if you do control V, like click in this window, control V, it makes a copy of that folder. So that way, if you wanna just copy the files from this folder and make another copy here, instead of deleting the one from here and moving it over, then that's the option. The other option, if you want to like copy like cut them from this folder so basically remove them or move them from this folder to here you can do control x which is like a cut option and then you can do control v which will paste them there so you can see it cut them from this folder and it pasted them over to this folder so there's all these different methods and different ways you can do this all right i'm going to do control a control x and control v so if you're not able to use your mouse to where you can like click and drag and drop. That's another option. You can do control X and control V. All right. And then again, control A is to do that and control C. So you have control A to select all, control C to copy, control X to cut, control V is to paste, V, all right, is to paste. And then um, if you want to undo, control Z is undo and control Y is redo. So depending what you want to do. I'm going to control Z. It undoes what I did. Control Z again. It undid what I did again. All right. And then I want to put the stuff back. Control Y, control Y. There you go. So hopefully this video helps you out with copying, pasting, cutting, dragging, dropping, all of that. Um, the cut, paste, select all and stuff works in text as well. So if you go to like notepad or word or whatever, let's say you're like typing a bunch of junk here. All right.
Control A, same thing, selects the whole thing. Um, I don't think you can do like a control click and stuff like that. Yeah, you can't. But you can do like, a, I think you can click shift. Uh, so if you click one over here, and if you hold the shift key, you can click this. Does that work? Oops. And there you go, see? So if you click on one spot, let me actually see if I can make the font larger for you guys here. So you can see what I'm doing. Let's zoom all the way in, okay? So we got that. Okay, so let's say you click one side over here, hold the shift key, and then you can click further over, and you can see it highlights exactly what you clicked. All right, again, control A highlights everything. Control X is a cut. Control V is a paste. Control A, control C is a copy. Control V, now that it's copied, if I press control V again, it'll just keep typing more. I'm gonna press enter to go down and then control V. So now you can see it's doing a copy. Control A, you can delete everything at once by pushing backspace. If you're wondering, backspace deletes behind the cursor and delete deletes in front of the cursor so if you're wondering what the delete key is for now that i move the cursor to the front if i press delete you can see it's deleting in front of it okay so those are some simple tips and tricks again control a control x and then if you same thing control z is like an undo you can see it puts it back control y is a redo but i guess it doesn't work on this one all right uh let's see so if i delete by pushing backspace let's see if i do control uh, z is undo Control Y, yeah. Control Y for some reason doesn't work in Notepad, it seems, but it does work with Word and other programs. All right. So yeah, again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, I don't know. If there's a bunch of other random like cool keyboard shortcuts you can do like Alt Tab, okay, and then you can see you can switch between Windows easily this way. Um, you can also do Windows Tab if you press the Windows key and press Tab. Then you can see all the windows laid out like this. Okay, um, the alt tab, like you have to hold the alt key down and then you press tab to switch between. So while you're holding alt, because once you let go, it, it selects that window. Okay, so you have to keep holding the alt key. All right, Windows tab allows you to actually use a mouse and then you can select which one you want. Um, there's other ones like Windows D, which goes straight to the uh, desktop. So if you press the Windows, hold the Windows key down and press D, it goes straight to the desktop. If you press Windows D again, pops everything back up. I think Windows M minimizes all the windows. I don't think you can re-maximize the windows with that. Yeah, so that one already like completely minimizes, all right? But the windows are still there. They're just minimized. So you can, again, manually open them again. But Windows D, it like goes to the desktop, and then you can press it again to come back, all right? Um, there's a bunch of other random shortcuts but aren't as used. There's Windows X that sometimes will give different things, but in Windows 10 it does this. It just basically like if you were to right click the start menu here. Okay, so you can do Windows X for that. Um, I believe there's Windows R opens the run menu. Be careful with this if someone calls you and tells you to open this Windows R thing, especially if they have an Indian accent. It's most of the time going to be a scammer trying to get you to go to a website to remote into your computer. Um, but this does have legitimate usage, uses, um, like if you're trying to go to the command prompt or something, you can actually open command prompt from here if you type CMD. And yeah, but if you're watching this video, you're probably not going to need this CMD thing. And if somebody is calling you, telling you to open this CMD thing, very good chance it's a scam. All right, so just hang up on them. Um, and then what else here? That's, oh, there's some more shortcuts. So if you're on the desktop, so let's say you have a whole bunch of stuff open. Um, uh, okay, I minimized them all. But if you're on the desktop, you can press Alt and the F4 key. And that will pop up the shutdown menu. Oh, I have to press the function, Alt function F4, uh, because the function is switched around on this computer. So if you don't press the function key, um, it'll operate the volume and this mute microphone and stuff so instead of the F keys. So I have to press Alt F, uh, Alt function and the F key. But yeah, so that gives you this shutdown menu. So if you want to shut down easier, that's another way. Instead of having to go to the start menu, going into this and going into like the power options. Uh, some other ways people do a shutdown is they right click the start menu and then they'll go in the shutdown here. But again, you can just go to the desktop and then you can press Alt F4. 
or Alt Function F4, depending how your computer is set up, and then you have this shutdown menu there. Okay, um, Alt F4 is also useful if you have pop-ups and stuff. So if you happen to have some pop-up here, or maybe you have a fake virus or something, if that window is the current active window, you can actually press Alt F4, or in this case, Alt Function F4, and that will close the current active window. As you can see, Alt F4, and now it's closed. You can see it's no longer open down here. Same thing with the folders. You can press Alt F4 or Alt Function F4, close them that way as well. All right, um, I don't know. There's so many different tips and tricks that you can do with the keyboard. Um, I'm probably missing a lot of them. If you know any that you feel I should mention or that other people should know about, feel free to mention them down below. And yeah, um, but this is just some, I guess, basic tips and tricks. Also, if you're wondering what NumLock is for, it lets you use the numbers here. If you turn NumLock off, it will act as arrows and these home, page up, page down, and and other keys like that. Okay, um, yeah. Oh, there's another one. If you plug in an external monitor, you can press uh, Windows key and the letter P, like projector, P as in projector, and you get this menu. So you can choose if you want to duplicate the screen, extend the screen, or only show the second screen. Since there's no second screen attached, if I press this, nothing should happen, as you can see. All right, and yeah. Um, if you're gonna be playing around with the keyboard, be careful, make sure you know what you're doing because if you start pushing random windows, whatever shortcuts, you can do some weird stuff. Um, there are some shortcuts to kind of flip the screen upside down, mirror it, rotate it. Um, I think they kind of changed it so it doesn't work anymore. Um, but there were, uh, some shortcuts that you can do with the windows key and like the arrows and other things, I think. Um, but... Yeah, I think they changed those in different versions of Windows. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of off the top of my head for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Um, if you didn't learn something new, maybe send this to friends and family and they'll learn something new. Or maybe then they won't have to ask you how to do these kinds of things. But um, yeah, again, if you guys know any other tips and tricks that I missed out um, that might be useful, post them in the comments section below and I'll probably make a new video that's more organized and kind of goes through this stuff better. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.